Okay, perfect. Super. My, so listen, man, first of all, like, uh, you know, I'm here in Los Angeles, but, um, you know, I'm familiar with your art for several years now. Going to Miami, where I'm originally from for Art Basel many years, I discovered Super. your art. You know, you did an exhibition there a few years ago, and then the past few years, your art is like in, in a bunch of different exhibitions you probably don't even know about, but you go down to Art Basel, you're all over Wynwood. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's not, like what do you so how, how how what do you attribute to this explosion you've had the past few years becoming such a recognizable artist? I think uh, because I didn't stop working, didn't stop traveling, uh, growing up like artists, uh, growing up um, my team, uh, we are around twenty in my team now. Um, yeah, we're moving now to a bigger studio, but uh, that we are in construction now. Uh, maybe it will be for next year in um, February. Yeah, I think it's like a um, grow up, uh, general grow up, you know? <laughs> yeah. How's everything in Spain right now? Is everything getting good with the with the, the COVID numbers in that situation? Yeah, I think it's coming back uh, like in March, like the, yeah, maybe Madrid and Barcelona are the worst uh, places. Me, I am now in Berlin visiting some friends because I was last year in a film festival painting a big building. Uh, in Oldenburg, and that's why I, I come uh, to Berlin to visit some friends, some artist friends. And yeah, I will come back tomorrow to Madrid. I stay a few days, but I am go to the north, to my born city, to uh, my parents' house, because it's a quiet place, I, I, and COVID is not too bad, you know? It's, it's better. It's, it's in Santander, dead, right? Yeah, yeah. So I actually found out that my a part of my family comes from Santander. Yeah. I'm from I'm Cuban. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, what is Santander like? I've been to Madrid. I've been to Barcelona. I never got. Yeah. I never went to the north coast. Santander is a quiet place, a small a small city, uh, but the the beach and the coast is one of the most beautiful in in Spain because it's more more wild. You know, like. Um, more rocks and, and super green. Uh, Asturias, Galicia, and Cantabria, uh, Santander is from Cantabria, I think are one of the, the best beaches, you know, in, in Spain for me. Okay, because a part of my family my, it does come from Santander, you and me might yeah. be related. Let's just, I'm just throwing uh -huh. it out there. <laughs> okay. Super, um, super. Uh, okay, so, so people, people see your art, uh, uh, especially the past few years, they're seeing it more and more on buildings around the world, you know, not just your yes. art pieces, but you have these big murals and these big projects that are in public spaces. For people that are just seeing your art now for the first time, describe it. How'd you, how'd you get to this place where you're painting big buildings and describe the, the geometric um, signature that you have to your art? Yeah, I think um, I start to do like the, the geometry and this uh, uh, special language. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, you see me? Yeah. yeah, yeah, because someone is calling me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I start to, to do my own language and my like the digital geometry skins uh, around 2008. I start to, to paint uh, like uh, gray bodies inside like uh, strange architectures, like uh, uh, like I did with triangles. And after that, I discovered that I, I can do everything like with uh, the geometry, you know, like uh, faces, animals, everything, you know. And I start to do it, like to do the interpretation of uh, classic art uh, to, to, to my digital language, you know, it's kind of, kind of that, yeah. And at what point did you take it to like the big level? At what point did you take it to where you were doing these huge murals? What, what, sorry, repeat. At what point did you take it to where you, 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 you did such massive pieces? You know, because yes. you know you're being, you're doing sides of buildings and you're doing, you know, all these places all over the world, these huge public displays. At what point did you take it from, you know, doing your art pieces to, to huge pieces? Uh, I think I feel more, more comfortable uh, doing huge pieces, you know, because I came from graffiti and from walls, not big walls, you know, but I, I came from using the spray paint uh, starting in art, you know, uh, and I feel super comfortable uh, just um, uh, painting with spray paint. Uh, when I do a uh, canvas or s small sculptures in the studio, I need uh, like a lot of tape, a lot of cutter. It's, it's more, uh, it's, it's more easy for me to do huge pieces, you know, because uh, yeah, you use your body like, like the, yeah, to do everything, you know? And when you paint in a small, for me, it's super complicated because, you know, imagine if come, if I come to, um, from doing big buildings, imagine to do pieces like this, you know? It's like a Zoom or, 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 a, or, or my special world, you know? Yeah. Have you gotten good at math over the course of your life? 
and uh, because because of the kind of art that you do, have you gotten good at measuring things and things uh, angles, or do you just do everything intuitively? No, uh, uh, I do directly everything in walls because uh, I I have the technique the twenty years painting, you know. Uh, when you when I I think the most important is to do the compos the first composition and and see um, and do it perfect. Uh, and and to do that, I do, I use like a big stick with a small brush, and with the lift, I try to see always from far away. Uh, start to do a, a few lines and far away again, you know, to see that the scale is is, is good, you know, and the bodies and everything is is good. And I think the most complicated is is to sketch, you know. But I feel comfortable and I. I enjoy a lot when when do that. You know, I, I never project. I do directly always. And and you use a lot of bright colors, which I think is very important uh, this day and age. Yes. I think we need more bright colors. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think because when I study in the university, uh, I was painting on on cardboard, on gray cardboard, and I used to learn to do uh, the volume with black and white and um, putting you know gray uh more light and more shadows and these things and maybe because that i start to paint with a lot of colors you know because i i was painting grays like for a few years that's why that's amazing um before i get to the exhibition that you have here in la i, would, I just want to ask you about the the scene in madrid so i i, I went to madrid several years ago and the art yep. is there is amazing and and you know i'm speaking as someone from miami who who's seen what yep. happened there with winwood uh, I live yep. in Los Angeles now. There's a resurgence. I don't know when was the last time you were in Los Angeles, but there's an arts district in downtown. They're kind of trying to yeah. do what, yeah, yeah. what happened in Wynwood. So I'm definitely exposed to, you know, good art scenes. And Madrid, yes. man, when you walk through the center of the city, through a lot of those alleyways and stuff like that, you come across yeah. some of the coolest street art in the world. So tell me about street art in Madrid and how you, you're part of that mm, you know, generation. Bringing uh, up. I think I have more big buildings and more artworks, more big sculptures in USA or in different countries but more than in spain in spain yeah in spain yes but in madrid i only remember one uh, subway station about uh, paco de lucia uh and it's super a big mural a huge mural that i did with uh, ross but in the city center i have no no big buildings i don't know why you know uh, we we're working uh, with the government to do to do a big building or a big sculpture, you know, but not too much in the city. I don't know why, but not. But there, there just, is there, there is in a the big art scene in Madrid, right? Yeah, just in the neighborhoods around Madrid, but in the in the city center, not. Okay, awesome. Why? Yeah. Why? I hope to see it. And and so and Spanish Spanish art in general right now is experiencing, you think, like a big push, right? I think I think you know street yeah. art from Spain, and you know yourself included, because your roots are in. You know, right yeah. now you're, you're, you're this big, you know, artist that does very big, you know, often even commercial projects, but you came from street art. Spanish street art has gained a lot of respect around the world. Would you agree? I think yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am very happy to be part of, uh, of the Spanish uh, street artists like Pichiabo, like, like Six uh, Paredes, like, um, like Nano 48, uh, uh, 14, or like Felipe Pantone, you know, there are a lot of, a lot of good artists or like artists um uh, yeah but we work more around the world than in spain amazing well art, yeah. art is supposed to take you places where you uh, are you i know that art basil is canceled this year but are you do you have plans to go back to art basil next year uh of course uh i think uh art basel for me and for some different artist friends is like the the meeting to all of us to finish right. the year to enjoy together and to show what we did uh, last year you know uh, because it's on December and it's perfect time because it's winter time in Spain and it's perfect time to go to the beach to do some parties and, and of course to, to see every people from art world, you know? Yeah, it's a big party. Let's be honest. It's a big party and yeah, everyone's hammered it. every love night. It, love it. Yeah, love it. Uh, so tell us about the exhibition you have going on here entitled New Digital Love at the Corey Helford Gallery in LA. Yeah, um, I think... Uh, Almost all of our works uh, came from the quarantine that I live in Madrid. That I live in my in my flat in Madrid. You know, uh, I start a few a few of these artworks in my terrace and I finish in my studio. Uh, yeah, and talk about the new way of relationships that we are living now. You know, that like, it's like you know the 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 keys of Madrid. 
You remember the, the, the artwork, yes. the keys from Madrid, yeah. It's like, I think all my artworks now are inspired by, by this piece, you know, because we are leaving that, you know, like the keys without uh, feeling, you know, or yeah, something like that. And mm. that's why uh, I paint a lot of uh, strange or, or usual uh, things, like, you know, like kisses or like just sticking the hand or just, um, yeah, but uh, like uh, in a, a strange uh, uh, plastic or, or digital, you know, or something like, it's, it's like kiss without kiss or something like that, you know, it's like. A kiss yeah, without uh, kiss. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, it's the way of the relationship that we have to live now is is uh, by the social uh, networks, this you know, is, because yeah. Oh, yeah. because in real it's like we can't. It's, it's strange. It's like I don't know. It's like the world now um, have to be at home alone. You know, it's super strange. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, I know, and that's super why we need sad, art you know? more. Yeah, it's super more, sad. We super need sad. art more than ever, especially yeah. 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 So, and in cultures like like in Spanish cultures where people give a lot of hugs and kisses, it's impossible. You know? It's impossible in Spain because we we do a lot of kisses and a lot of hugs uh, every every time. You know, it's crazy. That's and you thing. share and you sh you often share the wine. You know, oh, is this my cup or yours? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> last thing, your your new book, Coloring the World. Um, yes. Just tell us a little bit about that before that you go. Yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, uh, when I started quarantine, uh, we had the presentation, but we did it, and, and we um, did like a, a final uh, presentation with a very special actress from from Spain that the name is Cayetana Guillén Cuervo, and just uh, read, uh, she was at, at, at her place, and me at my flat, and just talking about the book and how uh, she uh, used the book to to stay good in, in quarantine, you know, like, uh, yeah. So it's like kind of psychology or like positive uh, vibe of life, you know. Um, yeah, the book is like 11 uh, chapters uh, that came from 11 uh, symbols that I bring from my artworks and just uh, talk about that with uh, personal experience, you know. Nice. Okay, yeah. one day. I know this is a little too commercial, but one day you should do like a coloring book with your shapes and then yeah. like a guide as to what colors you can you can choose to put in like the different triangles and stuff like that. But very I basic like shapes it, of yours. I think I did uh, one uh, or two projects like this for a uh, oh. for a um, hospital in Spain. Ah, you know, uh, for the kids that uh, yes. coloring books. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, well then, well, well, we're yeah. on the same page. Listen, thank uh, you so and in much. Greenwood too. I I remember in Greenwood too. Yeah, yeah, that's how you're, and Winwood, you're, you're definitely left your mark on Winwood because uh, the whole nature yeah. of the neighborhood really is, is reflected in your work. Uh, listen, man, thanks a lot for joining me. Oh, last question is how'd you get the name Okuda, right? Uh, you're, uh, you're, yeah. you're born Jose San Miguel, right? Yeah, Oscar San Miguel is my Oscar name San and Okuda San Miguel is my artist name. Yeah, Okuda, um, I get it. Because you think uh, Japanese. When I was, when I, yeah, it's Japanese. When I was a kid, uh, my, my brother was playing uh, to a video game and I saw after finish the video game, like a lot of names, you know, that the people that produce the, the, the video game and like see Okuda and it's like kind of Oscar because OA. And okay, I, I changed, you know, I, I, okay, this is my name now. Awesome. <laughs> That's well, just like this. Thanks for joining me, man. I hope to see you one day thanks in our battles or here in LA, man. Uh, yes, I'll send to soon. USA all my positive energy and all my love and can't wait to be in USA again because I love this country. Awesome. Ciao. Ciao, kisses.